on my way to the Temple Mountain to explore one of my favorite uranium mining districts. Right now I'm in, uh, right outside of Ennis, Montana. So I have a bit of a drive to make. So let's get going. So it does look like some of these trails uh, look a little muddy uh, when crossing some of the washes. And I'm not sure how that's going to translate to tomorrow and if that's going to make some of these areas impassable. Uh, I really don't feel like getting stuck in the mud, so I'm just going to take it slow and see what happens. Uh, but anyway, I think it's time to go to bed because it's like one o'clock in the morning right now and I'm sure uh, the people that are here at this little uh, camping area right by Temple Mountain uh, probably don't want me uh, up and uh, talking and disturbing their sleep so I'm gonna go to bed too so anyway see you in the morning done flying the drone around a little bit and uh, got some pretty sick shots the sun was like popping this one really good light today everybody running shout for life Let the tent dry out a little bit and then pack up and probably head over towards Temple Mountain and check out this uh, mine that's on the other side over there. Um, I'm pretty sure I won't be able to get into it, but it's cool to look at and there's actually a petrified tree in the hillside there that's kind of cool to see. Uh, it's not like agonized petrified trees or anything like that. The, the geology here produces a lot of like kind of like crumbly petrified wood. And uh, so that's how a lot of it is. And uh, it's still pretty cool though. Uh, it's just not as beautiful as the stuff you find like in the petrified forest. But anyway, I'm gonna have some breakfast and pack up. This road is way more beat up than usual. There's been a lot of water coming down here. So hopefully I can make it. We'll, uh, we'll see what happens. It's uh, definitely a lot different than the last time I was out here. like this has gotten a little more uh, interesting here it looks like it's just muddy yeah just mud maybe I just saw this little thing here this rise and I didn't want to just go over it blind I actually wanted to see how messed up the road is up here that's not too bad it's a little muddy but definitely passable so far Oh, 
man it's nice right in this area it's really cool because of all the water still on the ground yeah on the road <laughs> uh, I always love coming out here this is like one of my favorite places to go to I love going to Moab and exploring that area but this is pretty awesome All right, so I got out to the beginning of this uh, mining area that's on the backside. I am trying to remember the name of this mine. I think it's like maybe the Vanadium King or something like that. I'm not entirely sure. I know, let's see here. There is actually a claim here. It is the Vanadium King, I was right. Uh, here's like some paperwork here. Looks like someone was, uh, Working on a claim for this. So technically, I guess uh, this area, or at least the mine, is an active mining site where uh, someone must do the bare minimum of work to keep this claim active. And so I'm assuming that's what they're doing every year, because I think that's what you have to do. I think you have to spend like, I don't know, like $100, $200 of upgrades uh, to the claim like uh, of work or something like that that you can go and uh, hold on to the claim um, pretty sure that's what it is uh, hopefully I'll have some more information and then uh, there's a big hole right here it's probably a ore crushing thing I would imagine yeah maybe not could be for water hard to say but anyway let's do uh a little bit more exploring. I think I might <laughs> just uh, do a little shortcut here. I might just hike up this area up here to where the mine is instead of driving up there because then I can just leave the truck down here because it's not that high, not that far of a hike. So it should be pretty easy. Yeah, there's no way I'm going in there. <laughs> it looks far too uh, unstable to say the least. But you know, it's probably been out here since uh, the 50s, I would imagine. Maybe even before that, hard to tell. I'm not entirely sure. So I'm gonna run that Radicode 101 uh, on this trail and see how radioactive it is and where it kind of starts to become uh, way more radioactive than uh, normal background because this is a uranium mine and there's uh, little hot spots all around here. So uh, let's see what happens when we walk up there. Ah, I got that Radicode 101 clicking away on my ankle and now we're just gonna uh, walk up this trail here and uh, check out the spot and you know, share it with everybody. Like I said before, I always like coming out here. It's like such a cool place to explore. If you're in the mining history, or like, you know, radioactive stuff, or, uh, you know, just uh, cool rock formations, this place has got it all. Uh, so Temple Mountain is right by Goblin Valley State Park in Utah. And it's about, uh, I don't know, maybe 70 miles west of Moab. Something like that. Might be a little bit more, might be a little bit less. Get a little closer to this guy. So right here, you can see there's a petrified tree that's stuck in the hillside here. 
Uh, it's not how you would normally think of as petrified wood because it's this is very brittle and I think it's because of the host rock that's sitting in which is like all this like kind of mudstone so I don't think it actually had the minerals needed to make it like very hard. I do find pieces of petrified wood out here and some of them have incorporated uh, uranium uh, into the outside of the petrified wood so some of the fossils are radioactive around here but there's tons of petrified wood like in this area and some of it's way more solid than this and maybe if you dug this out uh, you might find some like okay pieces but for right now it's just better off just sitting where it is because it'll just come apart you know it'd be pretty cool if someone actually went and kind of removed some of this so you could see the whole thing uh, but I think it's fine just the way it is uh, right now and people can uh, you know notice it if they can notice it when they're walking by you just kind of have to keep your eyes open for uh, potential fossils or uh, little bits of uranium see now you can tell these other pieces of petrified wood that are out here now this is a lot better this is a lot more formed up I'll put that back because I already have too much at home but you can tell from all this all these little pieces of petrified wood these are pretty cool. But yeah, this log just travels straight through here. And there's fossils like this all over the place in Temple Mountain. Uh, this is nice being in the shade of the rocks not gonna complain about that it's not too terribly hot out here though yeah it's best time that I have experienced coming here is early summer or spring and I think it's my first time coming here this late in the fall so far it's been pretty good really enjoying it all right, they're getting close to the first couple of adits. So let's see what we find. You find a lot of these sealed up mines around here, but usually don't have an affidavit of labor uh, attached to this. So I don't know if someone's uh, accessing this area through here because there's like a gap in between the rocks here that looks like you can still gain access to the mine so i don't know what someone's doing uh back in here but it's pretty interesting i think it's weird that they just seal up all these mines but you know government's gonna do government stuff there's some motorcyclists down there hopefully leave my truck alone all right so here's some uh Nice little adits here in the hillside that are uh, all uh, blocked up with concrete, unfortunately. There's a nice flat little area here. This must have been where they did a lot of work in this area, probably had machinery, probably like a staging area or something like that. Or it's just the part of the hillside that hasn't eroded away yet. And this is maybe what the majority of this was like, even though probably all of this is, uh, or the majority of it is probably just tailings. So it's probably just stuff extracted from the mine and it just builds up like a road and a shelf that they can uh, work and uh mine this area as you can see it's uh <laughs> it's a pretty big hillside here and that's usually how tailings piles are that's usually a good way to tell uh where there are where's a mine like where is it like uh, around here is that you look for these tailings piles
So this may sound like uh, a really radioactive area, and for this area, this is. This is uh, where the vein of, or deposit of uranium goes through the hillside. And the grade may increase uh, higher the deeper you go into the hillside, uh, but the stuff out here is uh, pretty low grade. Uh, nothing too spicy. Uh, I'm getting around 10,000 uh, counts per minute. And then over on this section, I was getting around 14. So 14,000 counts per minute. Uh, it's, I mean, it's, you know, it's radioactive. I mean, it'll set off a Geiger counter pretty easily, but uh, I find stuff way hotter than this. Uh, still, it's really cool to check out. See, this one also has notices of work. And it looks like the last time it was done was uh, was at August uh, 2021. pretty cool that someone's still doing the work on this uranium mine uh be nice to reach out to them and see if we could get a tour of of it because uh, i have never been inside of one of the temple mountain uranium mines uh, and i think that'd be a, a pretty cool experience so who knows maybe a future video will be that uh, if i can get a hold of this person all right so that's going to do it for the vanadium king back here uh now i'm going to go and head over to the Lucky Strike and the Tom Hills Butte uranium mine. It's in the north uh, west section of the San Rafael Swell, the Temple Mountain area. So uh, I'm going to start heading over there right now, but that will actually be in the next episode right after this video. Uh, so if you like this video, uh, like it, subscribe if you want to see more content like this, and I'll see you in the next one. Take it easy.